I'm glad you're joining me for today's class. We're going to um, use a tea towel for some of the exercises today. So go and grab that from the kitchen and then we'll get started. So we're going to start um, on our hands and knees and we don't need the tea towel just yet. But, um, and we won't be on our hands and knees too long, but um, some nice moves here to help you uh, warm up your back. So go ahead and just line yourself up so that knees are under your hips, the heel of your hand is under your shoulders, soften the elbows, and then just, just pay attention to the tops of your feet down on the ground, the shin bones, draw the tummy in just ever so slightly so you feel nice and steady. And then we'll just shift the hips back and forward. So I'm not uh, changing the shape of my back, it's just, just a little tip forward and back. I like doing this because I feel the weight sort of shift into my shoulders and then I feel a little pressure at the front of the hip and really broad um, through the sit sitting bones at the back there. So broad at the back of the hip pelvis and then forward. So just a nice way to, you know, draw your attention into your body. And you get a little stretch in the wrist as well. Come back to where you find yourself even between the knees and the hands. And then we'll look up and go into an arch shape. So I let my tummy drop down towards the floor. I let my shoulders drop away from my ears. And then the head drops down and you tuck the tailbone and you go into a round shape. Push the floor away and feel your shoulder blades get broad. Pull your tummy in and then go back into an arch shape. So look forward, stick your tailbone out, good. And then tuck the chin, tuck the tailbone under. So the tailbone points to the back of the knees and you pull your tummy in, just really let your head go there. And then again into an arch, so breathe in. Reach your chest forward as your shoulders drop down and then breathe out when you round your back. That will help you draw the tummy in and then breathe in to look forward and breathe out to round. Then just come back to feeling um, even again. So what we'll do now is just get to take one hand and reach it out to the side of you and then just lift it up and take a little look up to the ceiling. So you have a little twist and a lift and just bring that arm back and down. And then on the other side, so lifting up and back. And the other side, just lifting the arm up and back and lifting up and back and down. Good. And then just take a seat. So sitting down, hold on to your tea towel. And we have our feet stretched out quite a way, legs together, and we just hold the tea towel out in front. Um, try and sit up as tall as you can. So sometimes I can end up like this, sort of in that rounded shape, but it's almost like I sort of want to get myself forward and up so my back can be up straight. And then lift up your arms and feel that nice length through your spine. And then just bring the arms back and down. Good, again, just a little lift. Good, and down. And again, little lift up. So feel your shoulders down away from your ears, even though your arms are reaching up and your back's reaching up, and back and down. Now we just take a little roll back and up. So I just sort of roll the pelvis. So I'm sitting on the low, like on the sacrum, which is that lowest part of your spine, and I pull my tummy back my belly button back towards the spine and then just round forward and sit up again. So a little tiny back and up. So you don't need to go far. Good. And this time when you sit up, just lift up the arms, get tall. That requires a lot of strength, doesn't it? Through your core to get tall. Arms come back and we just take a little roll back and then we sit forward, the arms go up, 
you get nice and tall and then we take a little tiny roll back and you're here good and again come up and up and back and just hold it there don't go too far <laughs> squeeze your legs together keep them right where they are and just go over to one side and back over to the other side and back so I'm trying to keep my legs really still as I do that little rotation of the upper body back to even and then we'll sit up get tall with the arms get tall with your back and then the arms come down you take a little tiny roll back hold it there let's do this again over and back go now, I go slowly so I can really concentrate on squeezing my legs together <laughs> because they don't want to stay together, they want to move with my upper body. But if I can keep them nice and steady as I just tip over, can really access the side waist. Come forward, get tall, and arms come back and down. Good. So now we'll lay on our back. And I'll keep my legs together, I'll keep my feet together, my, leg, my thighs together, and hold the towel up over your chest. Okay, so make sure it's right over your chest, not over your face. You keep your arms right where they are as your knees go over to one side. And then you bring them back, and then take them over the other way, and then you bring them back. So I'm keeping my knees together, and I'm trying to keep my shoulders down on the ground, nice and easy. Holding the towel can actually help me feel that my shoulders are anchored down. And again, just using the side waist to drag the legs back. So I usually breathe in on this when you go over to the side. Breathe out when you come back. Inhale to go over, exhale back, one more on each side. So don't go too far, you want to keep your shoulders down, then you really do get that nice movement for the lower back. And it almost feels like my waist is being wrung out a little and back. Now we separate the feet to be hip distance apart. Plant your, the sole of the foot down so you feel the toes and the heel and the inner and outer edge of your foot. And then we just touch the lower back into the ground, lift up the hips into a bridge. Okay, roll back down, just go bone by bone, getting that nice movement through your back. Lower back touches the ground and then you push down through your feet to lift the hips up. And then soften the chest. Just lay your back down, bone by bone, all the way down. Let's go again. Rolling up. Come up as high as you feel comfortable, but keep the ribs tucked into your body. And back down. This time, let's move the arms as well. So lift the hips on up. And then just let the arms, they go over your head. Just leave them where they feel comfy there. And then lay your body down on the ground. And then bring the arms back up over your chest. So hips go up, arms go over. This should feel so nice. Body goes down while your arms stay there on the floor. And then the arms come back up. Another one like this, come up. Over with the arms, your arms stay there and you stretch your back really long down away from your fingertips and then the arms come back up over your chest, that's way. Now, we're going to bring one leg up into tabletop and touch the towel to your knee and then just tap the toe back down as the arms go overhead. So knee and towel come together and then you stretch back. So I'm just doing a little toe tap up and down. What, I, what I'm thinking of is to try and keep my back steady. So when the knee comes up, I'm trying not to press my lower back into the mat now. 
I'm just going to leave it in the natural little curve that it is. Oops. This will be good for our, um, you know, our abdominal muscles and nice stretch for our shoulders. Let's go on to the other side now. Knee and towel together, tap the toe down, arms overhead. And it's good to really get that movement of the thigh dipping away, folding there at the front of the hip. That's good. Two more. Good, and then we're going to bring one leg up to tabletop <laughs> and then the other, put your legs together and then the towel comes to both knees. Okay, now the arms go overhead and the toes tap down towards the ground and then bring everything back. So you don't have to make your toes touch the ground. Maybe they just dip down a little bit and then come back up. So if you go um, a little too far, you know you've gone too far if your back arches away and pops out like this. Okay, so the, the aim is to keep nice and steady. So even if it's just a tiny movement, um, then you'll be really strengthening all the muscles around your center, supporting your back. If this is too much, you can always just go back to a single leg lift like we just practiced. Or if you're feeling like this is a good, you know, it's, you're able to keep steady, your toes can touch the ground, just keeping the legs glued together. Let's just do two more. That's good. One and two. Uh -huh. One foot down, then the other. Move your back around if it needs a little, little stretch. Sometimes I just rock a little forward and back in between those ones to release if you felt a little tight. Now, pop the tea towel around your thigh like this. And I'm just going to use the towel there to help me hold up my leg so that I can straighten the leg and bend it again. So toes up and then back to tabletop. So this is really good. Stretch the back of the legs and we're just going a stretch on and release, stretch and release. Try and, you know, let all the tension just drop out of your shoulders and your jaw as you do this. Often I find when my legs are really tight and I start doing this, everything tenses up, but it's just a matter of, you know, letting the shoulders go and then hold it here. Flex your foot now and you're going to stretch the leg out and bring it back in. So your arms will just help you along with that, stretch out and back in. So nice and steady through your back. That's it. And back and in. Pop that foot down. Let's do the same on the other side. So just towel goes around your thigh. Okay, square off everything again. And then up and down, toes up, toes down. A oh, few cracks of the knee. I don't know if you heard that. <laughs> That's okay. I'm just getting the joint moving. It's good for us. As long as it's not hurting, you can carry on even if you hear a few cracks. <laughs> All right. Knees bent. Flex that foot. And then just stretch the leg out. Bring it in. Stretch it out. Of course, your arms will move with this one too. So just out and in. Really stretch though. Stretch out and bring it in. This will be good for your knee too, actually. These ones. Okay. And then we just pop that foot down. Now I want you just to take the towel, mine's sort of in a folded shape, and I'm just going to um, pop that around the back of my head. So it'll help me when I lift up my head and do some um, chest lift now. So hold on to the towel, elbows sort of aim a little forward, 
And what I'm going to do is just lift up my face towards the ceiling and I'll let my head relax into the towel. And then I'll just tuck the chin slightly and curl up and over my chest and then back and down. So up and over. The thing with holding your head up like this, I, I want you to be careful not to really jam the chin down to your chest. So it does curl in a little bit. And if you can have a look at my shape, you'll see that I still have that nice natural curve of my spine and my head and neck just reaching forward and back. Okay, so we'll do about six more, ready? So we'll go into breathe in to get ready and then breathe out as you come up and inhale back, exhale up, inhale back and exhale. Now try and keep your tailbone heavy, like aiming down towards the ground. Inhale back because we want to keep the waist long and just keep the natural curve of your back if you can manage. That's it. And last one. Good. And then we take the towel out and you glue your legs together again, nice and tight. Hands are up here. <clears throat> so what we'll do now is we'll take a breath in and when you breathe out, you're going to just tuck the chin and lift up now, reaching the towel towards the thighs. Just take it over to one side. Now, this is where we keep the knees really still and back and over to the other side and back over really got to concentrate on keeping those knees steady today and over <laughs> and back one more on each side that's it anytime your head gets sore with this you could just put your head down take a little rest okay and back and down you don't want your neck to get sore after a pilates class good then we lift up one leg then the other and we're going to stretch one leg out and have one leg bent and then bring it the other way. So one knee comes under the towel, one leg stretches out, and then we switch. So here's an option. You can keep going with this one with your head down, but if you wanted to, you could lift up and you could sort of aim the towel more towards, see if you can almost get it towards the ankle. So you're reaching forward as the knee tucks in. Good. We've just got a couple more. So head down is fine, remember. So we'll do four, three, two, one, and then just bring the knees in, put that towel over your shin bones and rest. <laughs> Little side to side movement. Okay, so now you're going to roll to the side to hop up or you could hold on behind your thighs and give yourself a little rock to sit up. Legs go out in front. If it helps you to have them sit up straighter with bent knees, then I want you to have your legs bent. For me, often my legs are tight, so often I do just have my knees bent a little bit so that I can sit as tall as possible. And then I'll just hold the towel out in front. Okay, shoulders down. Okay, we're just going to nod the head and dive forward. Take a little stretch forward and then roll yourself back and up. We'll do that again. So nod the head, go forward, and all the way back and up. Just one more like this. Sit tall, and as you go forward, think of pulling the waist back away from your thighs. And even though your arms are stretching forward, your shoulders are reaching back away from your ears and then slowly roll back and up and then just bring your arms down. Then we'll just come round onto our knees like this and just holding the towel in front. See, I'll face you. Okay. So we're just going to lift the arms up. Okay. And down. So a little bit of pull on the, the, the towel feels quite nice. 
If you don't like being on your knees like this, you could do this one standing up. And then come up, just hold it here. We're going to go over to the side, so straight to the side, back and up, over the other way, and back and up. And again, nice big breath in. Shoulders down in between each one. Over and up. And then just bring the arms down in front of the chest. You're going to bend the, your arms so the, the towel comes closer to your chest and then just push it out. A little bend and forward. Bend, forward, bend, forward. Now one arm bends and one arm stays straight and that will just twist you around to look to one side and then push with the bent arm to make it straight again. So one arm bends, one arm stays straight. You just peep around to the bent arm, drop that shoulder down, then push forward with the towel to straighten both arms. So bend and twist, push and back, bend, and push. That feels so nice. Let's do one more on each side. Nice, strong, active arms. Okay, good. And then lift up again. Shoulders down. Over to the side. Now, from here, we're just going to turn around so that the towel is parallel to the ground and you're looking down um, and you're pulling almost your waist back away from the towel. Then go back to that side shape and then come back and up. Good, shoulders down. Relaxes when you get your shoulders down, easier. So over, take a little twist. So I'm pulling almost back away from the towel, back to the side and up. Shoulders down, arms can come down, take a little rest. <laughs> Good. Just pop the towel around behind you. So I have, I'm going to hold the towel fairly close to my body. So my hands are sort of touching here on either side. And just draw in the tummy so you're nice and straight and strong. Just reach the arms back a little way. Off your body. Take the towel away from your body and then just bring it back to touch. Okay. That's it. Now, when the arms go back, I want you just to look up and reach your chest forward and up. So you've gone into a little extension, so a little arch, and then come back. So it's upper body. So I just feel like the chest goes, glides forward as I look up a tiny bit and then back. Let's just do a couple more like this. So arms go back and I just lift up my chest a little, rolling the shoulders back. See, the, bear, the, the towel doesn't have to come off your body very far to really work the backs of the arms and the upper back. And all the way back. Good. Take the towel around in front again. And then I just want you to bring the towel down as you fold forward. So just put the towel there towards fingers on the ground. Make a round shape with your back. And then you roll back up reach the towel up past your face, up towards the ceiling. Then reach the arms forward like a big circular motion. Just dive forward a little, rounding the back. Bring the towel up your body, past your chest, past your chin, nose, eyes, up over your head, big circle around, nice big stretch there, and then rolling back and up. And last one. Go down, leave the towel on the ground and then just roll your body all the way back and up. Okay, just roll the shoulders back, give them a little roll and that's you all finished. Nice work.